What's up tech, it's Josh here and I'm so excited to bring it to you guys my unboxing video of the Galaxy S10 Plus. This is the ceramic model, one terabyte, 12 gigs of RAM. This is the first time I've ever gotten a phone at the top tier, so I'm really excited about getting this. I'm gonna make a separate video about the reasons why I got this Galaxy S10 in the first place. Some you probably can just guess already, but I'm pretty sure that there's one reason that you will never guess the reason why I got this. All right, so let's cut all the chatter, Follow me on all social networks, subscribe to the channel so you can see as much Galaxy S10 Plus coverage as possible. I've got a list of videos for this phone, so definitely subscribe so you don't miss those videos when they come out. All right, let's take a look at this thing. As this unboxing video unwraps, I'm gonna just talk about my plans with this device so you can kind of have an idea of what's gonna be going on as I have experience with this phone. You know, a little bit of a design change is kind of what we're used to, but at the same time, they changed the display. The display now has that hole punch display, which is what they're calling Infinity O. So far, my first impression of that part about it is that I like it better than the notch. I've had the iPhone 10, the iPhone 10s Max, and also the Pixel 3 XL, all of which have a notch, and I've still not got used to those. The hole punch design to me is a better design than the notch. If I'm gonna compromise, this is definitely the better design in my opinion. The other major design thing about this phone is the fingerprint reader, so it's in the display now. And so far, it's worked pretty well for me. And it's interesting how the display can be off and still work. I am gonna miss the facial recognition software. They had an iris scanner facial recognition. It was a really nice, easy way and worked flawlessly any time in the past with all the other devices that had that like the Note 9, the S9, S9 Plus. What I liked about it so much is that I could press the power button, look at the device and it unlocks. It was really simple, fast and smooth. It was one of the best ways I've experienced unlocking a device. You're not gonna have that this time around. All you got is pretty much that inlay fingerprint reader plus when you swipe up and all with the different patterns, pins, all that fun stuff that we've had for years now. I was also really excited about the ceramic back versus the glass back. I was kind of curious what the tech was going to be like, but I just wanted something different. I was so tired of glass back, so I was definitely wanting to get the ceramic one. To get the ceramic model, you have to at least get the 512 gig device. And by that time, I was like, I'm just going to pull the trigger and get the one terabyte. It's the first time I've gotten the top tier kind of device. It wasn't just about getting the maxed out device. It was about my plans for this. I plan on using this device for a lot of mobile photography and a lot of mobile videos. This device has an exclusive partnership with Adobe Premiere Rush to where you can edit movies. It's a really good editing software program. I've used it on iOS devices. I like using it. I use it on iOS a few times a month for simple tweaks on the go. And I'm definitely looking forward to using this. I've got the anamorphic lens from Moment and I got the Moment case on order. So once that arrives, I'll be able to start using that lens onto this device. And that's just gonna open up a whole other way of creating content for me. And I'm gonna to try to do as much mobile on the go kind of stuff. I'm gonna to try to make some short films with this. As you know, if you follow this channel for a while, I won a mobile film festival with Huawei a few years ago. So I definitely wanna to try to kick that kind of effort back up and just make some fun stuff. Not just talk about devices, but try to do some things that I like to do. I like to make films. I'm a wedding filmmaker. I do some commercial work as well. And just being able to kind of do some stuff on the personal side is something that I want to do this year. I've done some flare hunting with the iPhone and I can't wait to start using it with this phone once I get that case in here so I can use that lens. It's just gonna be fun time to use that kind of stuff. To wrap up this video, I wanna talk about some of the other video plans that I have for this device. I've got a bunch of cases on deck. I'm waiting for a few more to kind of ship on in and then I'll have my favorite video that I like to try to do every year, which is the best cases for the Galaxy S whatever phone it is. And this time it's gonna be for the S10 Plus. I'm also gonna go over the top things that you should do first with this device. I see other channels and other websites do that. And each and every one has some different tips and ideas. So I wanna kinda of add my suggestions to that kind of topic. So look out for that one. I'm gonna have a Fresh 48. If you are a photographer, you know that kind of lingo. Just basically my first impressions using it for the first 48 hours. The full review will come out. I'm not even sure how long it'll take before I get to that review. I personally like to take my time with the device, let it work through some of the kinks, if there are any kinks, and give my experience after at least a month of using it, not when the phone first freaking gets released. Just really, like, how can you have a review published before the phones even hit the stores? That makes no sense. I've got the iPhone XS Max. 
the Pixel 3 XL, and now the S10 Plus, and I wanna do some side-by-side -side comparisons, mostly like with speakers, the camera, and just the overall experience. I'm gonna do a separate video about the Galaxy Buds. I gotta have some time with these things before I can give my full experience with it. I've used the Apple AirPods quite a bit. I've even used it with my Android devices, so I wanna do a side-by-side -side experience with that. That's just a snapshot of what I have planned for the S10 Plus. I've got a special video coming out that I can't wait to share with you guys. It's it has a lot to do with the Android community. And again, I just can't wait to share that one with you. It's gonna be, I don't know, you might have to get the tissues ready just to, yeah. Uh, no more details about that. That video coming out soon. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of those videos. I've got all my social links down below. If you're interested in getting this device or any cases, links, all that kind of stuff that you need to know will be down in the video description. I'm so glad to be back. It's been like over a month before the last time I posted a video. Life has been crazy so far 2019, like good crazy, like really good timing with how things are lining up to where I can spend some more time on Bain Tech stuff and give you guys what you wanna hear from my side of the story. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it, hit a thumbs up. Again, subscribe and I'll check you guys out next time.